Web Warriors, Web Warriors. I feel so, so bad, you know, for being late on this parade. I, you know, I was, I was on vacation, so, you know, you got to forgive your boy. But your boy recently found out that there was a Spider-Man multiplayer game in development. Now, I read the whole entire Insomniac leak, but I had no idea that they had, was working on a multiplayer game. And the trailer came out a few days ago. Um, and yeah, honestly, I saw a lot of people excited and was upset that they canceled it. But I'm going to actually be a very different web warrior. And I'm going to actually say something controversial. I'm kind of glad they canceled it. Now hold on, web warriors. Hold on. Before you get your web shooters and start slinging them in my fucking face and shit and sticking me on walls or chasing me down a hallway like what they were doing to my boy Miles and and across the Spider Verse. Hold on for a second. Uh, I want to basically preface this and say, I think a multiplayer Spider-Man game would be so dope. I, in fact, that's one of the things I was happy about about Spider-Man 2. Spoiler, one of the side missions when we had to collect the spider bots. I and at the end, you meet this woman and she's like, you know, tell Miguel I'll take good care of his spider bots. And you're like, who's Miguel? And I'm like, ooh, we're doing Spider Verse stuff. And then it turned out like. No, it was just supposed to be like uh, across the Spider Verse um, little Easter egg that they cut in the main film. So I'm like, oh, that sucks. But I always was open to the idea of a multiplayer Spider-Man game. A lot of people was upset that Spider-Man 2 didn't have some sort of multiplayer. I didn't care a fuck about that because I was thinking big term. I was thinking big fucking terms. All right, I was thinking big. I was like. Why would you want to play with two Spider-Mans where you could play a bunch of Spider-Men or Spider-Women? That would be even more dope. And so what ultimately changed my mind was the reception of Spider-Man 2. Now don't get me wrong, I love Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 to me is truly an amazing game. Uh, it's a great sequel. And I do think it elevates in a lot of areas. And it was my game of the year of 2023. I love the game. I have nothing but praises. However, I do agree with certain YouTubers, uh, in particular, um, Amazing Lucas. Shout out to Amazing Lucas, our, our web warrior, our Raimi web warrior. Uh, he said something that was very interesting, and I actually agreed after thinking about the game. I don't think the game did enough innovation. And as much as I'm so satisfied with what Isamia did. I think personally, because they had limited time, they couldn't innovate so much in Spider-Man 2. Um, even Brian Izahara, the game director, has said, like, you know, when they got to the final half, when you can tell when you play Spider-Man 3, I mean, Spider-Man 2, you know, you could tell that the game quality wasn't mating up the stuff. Like, I think back, God. I can't believe I'm telling the story. I remember when we were, there was one part in the project where we realized that the last, the back half of the game was, we weren't gonna make it. Like we weren't gonna hit the quality bar. And you know, and uh, we had a very, I want, it wasn't, I'll say heated, but it wasn't heated like we were arguing. Like we were just, I was like frustrated that we weren't gonna get everything done. And I remember it was a Sony, our Sony producers, it was Mark, Ara, Grady, uh, Joe kind of saying, guys, we're not, we're not there every single day, but we see it. And Jeanette has confirmed it. Like we're, we're not going to get all the way there. And I had a really, I will say an emotional reaction to that talk. And then I stepped back for like five minutes. And I remember as people were talking on the zoom call, I was taking, I was just like, like, um, scribbling down how we could basically if we cut these things, how we connect it all back. I was just made it objective. I'm like, how, okay, does any of this stuff impact the pillars of the game? No. Can we reconnect these pieces with minimal rework or 
you know, could, cause you know, you don't want to make a scope decision that cr creates more scope, right? Cause that can happen times too. And you just did like a, like a, uh, like the napkin sketch of what it could do. And I was like, and then five minutes later, I'm like, all right, let's go. After having that emotional reaction. And it's very telling that Insomniac was running thin, you know? And I just don't think right now, a multiplayer Spider-Man game is what Insomniac needs to do. You know, they need to figure out how to do the next Spider-Man game, um, Spider-Man 3, make that the most boldest and epic Spider-Man game they could possibly make it with three spider characters uh now that we know spoilers again silk is coming you know we need to focus on that shit not a multiplayer game that to be frank i didn't really see that much innovation in terms of uh gameplay like like oh you're just swinging around with three spider-mans like that's i mean with multiple spider-mans that's cool and all but I was looking at Gwen's gameplay, and I'm just like, first of all, her design, I'm not even that huge of a fan of it, what they went with. But more importantly, I'm not seeing anything new. I'm not seeing anything creative. Uh, the only thing I'm seeing is that, oh, like you're going through different dimensions and you'll fight in different areas, and that's cool. But in terms of animation, I'm mostly just talking about animations. Miles animations look the same. Peter's animations look the same, and the different suits look the same. Um, Gwen animations look the same, like Peter's. I'm just like, you know, this is a spider character. You know, this is a female spider character. She should not be moving the same way how Miles and Peter is moving. You, you feel me? You know, they, it shouldn't be that. All the spider characters should feel unique and different. And I wasn't getting that. You know, say whatever you want about Ghost of Tsushima's multiplayer, but at least all the characters you played, yeah, they were like cut off versions of um, of the main character, but they all had unique strength and weaknesses and whatnot. I was not seeing that in the game in the gameplay, and I just felt like, wow, this is just more of the same, but just now you can play it with friends. And I guess that's fine for everybody, but for me, when I want a multiplayer, I want like innovation and coolness like and i just was not seeing that i was not seeing that and again i just think that insomniac i think they are a very talented individual but i just don't think as of right now where they're at that's where they need to be doing you know i don't think they have the creative juice as of this moment to do a multiplayer game and also uh, I'm not surprised that they canceled this because right now uh, a bunch of Sony developers um, got laid off. You know that was very sad to hear, and I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if the multiplayer teams portion of that of that development team, you know, were let go because they're just reshuffling shit. So it sucks that it got canceled, but I think considering the fact that Spider-Man 2 did not meet people's expectations and then to say here's do a multiplayer well then yeah i think it was the best call not to mention guys they couldn't even get new game plus ready for us it took us four to five months just to get new game plus it took us all the way till march the game came out in october all the way to march just to get new game plus freaking a multiplayer game that's big and large you have to worry about multiple people not swinging into each other and bumping into each other um fighting enemies like all of that type of stuff making all the spider-men unique in all different ways or spider women unique in all different ways that's very time consuming so i'm looking at it as these guys couldn't give us new game plus we're still missing costumes from the previous spider-man game and people want a multiplayer i just don't think that's viable and i think insomniac or sony made the right call of saying no this is this gotta go this is in the back burner and also they're working on other projects apparently they're we're supposed to be getting a venom game we know spider-man 3 is in development we know Wolverine's coming. That's their next big project. Again, I just, again, I just think in the future, 
yeah this is something we should definitely hop on and we should definitely do it uh into the spider-verse and uh across the spider-verse is huge definitely get on that stuff but considering the fact that they lost a whole big multiplayer um a bunch of insomniac employees were let go from sony sony let go a lot of uh heads over at their studio i think it's i think it was the right call to just be like yeah like no this is not what we need right now we need to focus on strengthening the next installment of the next spider-man game because spider-man 2 did not live up to everyone's expectation let's 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 meet those expectations and then we can go crazy with a multiplayer all right then we could go ham on a multiplayer but as of right now i just think insomniac and sony and also marvel made the right decision of canceling that stuff and it is what it is but don't take it too personally we will see it again some form or fashion i think we'll see it again some form or fashion in some way just not right now anywho that's gonna do it for my video uh comment below let me know what do you think about uh, a multiplayer spider-man game me personally again i thought i think that would be so cool but i just don't think right now it's the right time to do it um if you're new to the channel please comment rate subscribe all that fun stuff and until next time stay safe and have a good one web warriors i'll see you in the next video